Welcome viewers. In today's video, I am going to show you some great features of PowerPoint web version. Uh, for example, if you have a Word document and you want a presentation on that. So as a routine, we just open a PowerPoint presentation and then copy and paste text for, for in different slides. But now there is a great feature in Microsoft PowerPoint which can convert your Word document to a presentation in a presentation like for example if this is my word document so it can create for you a presentation like this you just need to export that file to presentation but that work only on the web version i will show you and for example if you have a presentation and where you want some designs for the presentation so there are lots of new designs on the web version of microsoft PowerPoint, which is totally free for example if you have a agenda so it can convert the agenda points add such type of uh, smart art and can add relevant icons also automatically if you have an agenda point for example there are four agenda points so you can have four slides automatically added based on your this slide so you can add that also how we can use these new features in the microsoft powerpoint web version let's see So here is how you can do this first on the browser you need to go to uh, office.com or you can type in the Google MS office online and you can click this one www.office.com you can bookmark this page also and here you will see if you are signed in already so okay if not so from here you can sign in and when you sign in with your gmail or any uh, other email id so you will see this page and you can bookmark this page from here and here you can see all the microsoft so the first thing that i want to show you is how you can create a powerpoint presentation from a word document easily so if you have this account here so all your word document will already be saved here if you are using OneDrive. if not so just click this ms word here if when you click this so all your file are here if that file is not available click new document go to your ms word file Control a copy the whole document and paste it in this one here if it's not available on one drive so here you can just paste it now this is my word document for example and, and I, I just want to make a presentation from this and i don't want uh, do it from the scratch so just click file export export to powerpoint presentation it works only in on the web so export to powerpoint presentation okay now here you can see there are different designs uh, the microsoft is asking you that which one of the theme you want for your uh, presentation you can see some more themes also and every time you export from uh, the ms word file so you will see different types of themes so you can select from all these themes whichever design you want so for example if we select this one then click export now it's creating the uh, slides from my file yeah your presentation is ready open presentation now you will see another tab is open and here you will see here you can see the presentation that uh, the the text it has already converted my text into a presentation so here you can see the first uh, title of my mess word was this one and you can see now there are all these uh, different uh, for example in ms word it was like this formative and this one so you can see it has already developed slide on different paragraphs and different topics here you can see this one here you can see the next one so now you can make your changes from here you can change the design you can change it web version is totally updated one it's free for use 
so here you can see the designer is uh, generating some more ideas based on my slides you can see here i can change it and if this designer tab is not available so you can go to design tab and from here you can turn it on so here you will see different design templates for your first slide for example if i change it to this one so you will see this slide is now in this shape uh, when you go to the next slide so here also you will see lots of different ideas so you can uh, generate some more ideas from this so it's very easy that it it's converting your ms word document uh, even if it's very lengthy no issue and if you have used some bullets and some uh, other type of uh, information so it can create some so it can for example on this slide uh, i use this assessment two types so it has created a smart art and now you can change these smart arts to different shapes from here for example if you want this one so you can change it to this one also so in this way it's very easy for you to use an ms word file and change that to uh, powerpoint another best feature of this online web version is for example if i go to a news presentation in this web version so uh, i am developing a presentation for meeting in the first slide for example i am giving a title to that uh, meeting presentation and the location of the meeting etc and now i uh, need another slide new slide here and in that new slide for example if i add here agenda so it will create different slide based on the points automatically how for example this is the agenda first we say welcome and introduction for example i have these four points in my agenda i am developing from the scratch on the web so when i create such type of slides so you will see now in the design when i go to the design tab and click the designer tool so here you will see add next four slides automatically there are four agenda points so it asks me add next four slides automatically if my points are five so it would say next five slides automatically so you can add those slides you can change the pattern of this agenda points to different uh, types of designs also it's giving you all these different designs let's first do let's first add next four slides click here you will see different template designs template themes that you want for these next four slides which type of theme you want this one or like this one so you have all these different types of options and you can create for example it would be like this this is the agenda slide that i developed now you will see slide one two three four it has already created four slides this is the simple one if you want in the design so you can apply these for example let's take this simple one apply so you will see now here we have this slide we created now we can see there are you see four slides have been automatically created and now i can add the details there. and here i can change this uh, slide the agenda slide to different templates here you see uh, it will add uh, icons also relevant icons for example let's click this one you see welcome and introduction so the relevant icon is there they, they are shaking hands updates challenges and way forward so the relevant icons are also applied so you can use this web version which is very easy for you to use and similarly there are lots of other option also you can see this one this is also a new design for your uh, agenda slides you can see here also so these designs are available on the web version you can use such type of design and the desktop for also but that's are not that much here you can find lots of designs for you and automatic slides also now for example if you have a slides another best feature of this online version is you have a slide and you have created some shapes or pictures here different shapes and different styles so you can select all of them and you can use auto you can use here in the shape arrange auto fix when you click this you see these are auto fix 
Similarly, you can use this online version for one another best feature and that is presenter coach. Slideshow, go to slideshow, rehearse with coach. So you can do some rehearsal and uh, it will basically if you turn on the camera so it will observe your body language at end at the end will give you a detailed report that whether when you were presenting this presentation how you were doing it for example let's click rehearse with coach here you can see uh, it will ask you use microphone uh, yeah yeah you you need to allow that okay now start rehearsing and click this show real time feedback start rehearsing now when you will be talking and you go to next slide so you see it is uh, already uh, recording your presentation style your speaking style etc for example we are in this slide and we are presenting that this is our agenda first welcome and introduction then we will discuss updates then challenges and then way forward then you go to the next slide and you uh, explain the first agenda point and then the next agenda point etc now let's let's pause it and close this rehearsal now you can see at the end it gives you this type of report good job rehearsing keep up the hard work a total time spent 0 35 seconds slides rehearse 5 fantastic you didn't say too many filler words in your speech all this is giving you a nice work your variety of word choice will help keep your audience engaged and it will give you a complete report on your rehearsal your pace is just right keep it up this is the pace words per minute 122 and all this is giving you basically a complete report on your rehearsal so you can improve your presentation and your rehearsal and before the uh, actual meeting rehearse again you can rehearse it again also so this feature is also great now you can easily uh, ex uh, save your file just save as and you can save it in your computer wherever you want you can save it with Control s anytime and if you want to use it in your computer so click file save as now here you can see save as this save as is for saving it on the one drive is another version of the file you can rename download a copy click here you as your presentation is ready download and here it is downloaded now you can use it in your computer and all these features will be available to you on the computer but if you want to uh, bring some more designs or auto agenda point slides so that for that you will have to come to the online version the web and from here uh, share you can share with people you can share it as embedded file also so hope you like the video uh, i am also making a video on the how to create uh, animated videos uh, in presentation in powerpoint that will i will upload dear viewers we have started this youtube channel we are a free of cost learning tutorial on if you want to learn microsoft excel microsoft access powerpoint ms word other learning tips so we have detailed playlist and there are hundreds of tutorials on microsoft excel uh, microsoft powerpoint how to design presentation microsoft access how to develop databases and manage data online data collection learning google form kobo ms forms if you visit this channel you can find lots of video tutorial kindly support us visit the channel for example in ms excel you will find these sessions in a proper sequence for example in ms excel playlist we have this basic session and then session two three four so if you start learning these sessions so from the start you can go ahead and you will find in a sequence sessions on microsoft basics data analysis conditional format pivot tables use of if uh, concatenate formulas dependent drop down list validation name managers vlookup xlookup function f function 
uh, advanced user account f in some apps how to find duplicates tricks and tips related to microsoft excel how to develop search boxes searchable drop down list aggregate functions tracking performance of the projects or any other uh, analysis of research that you have conducted for the school bench and other such studies there are session on uh, how to develop beautiful charts attractive charts speedometers uh, dashboards in microsoft excel similarly in powerpoint also you will find how to design beautiful presentation in powerpoint how to do an ms access also you will find all these session in proper sequence uh, the access tutorials playlist here are almost eight sessions uh, in session one you will find the basics how to create tables queries forms and then you will go on with advanced options in microsoft access similarly you will find tutorial on how to uh, collect online data google form uh, kobo uh, ms form uh, you will find also the use of ms word the mail merge functions there are session on spss also so you can learn spss if you need to do some analysis in spss there is a series on project management also how to conduct need assessment studies kindly support us visit the channel watch learn and improve your productivity thank you so much